On the previous episode, we sailed from Allen's capital of Mariheim, a leisurely downwind sail to the magical island of Radham, before tying up and exploring this amazing island. What you got there, Neil? I got bread from the harbour master's office. They asked us last night how many rolls we wanted, I told them, and they delivered fresh onto the bow this morning. Amazing. This is Marcus. He works here at what is this place called? Is it just the name of the island as well? Yeah, Radham. Radham. And uh, incredible. So if you guys are cruising here in Holland, stop by. Great pastries, coffee. And he's a sailor. What boat do you have? I have a Becker 27. And what's the name of it? Kinsey. You can and check out Kinsey's Dream. It's uh, an album I, I made with it. Oh, cool. So, use the same name as my book. Okay, and that's online? It's on Spotify. And okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, okay. And um, he lived in Los Angeles, went to the Musicians Institute out there, so that was cool. Run into another person from that area. And um, where's your favorite sailing place here in the Baltic? It's around here, uh, uh, all on the, you know, this part of the archipelago. Uh, especially when I go to Rödham as often as I can. Mm -hmm. But there's so many nice islands, like 6,000 islands around here, so... I'm looking forward There's to a lot of things too. Sure. Yeah, but the Finnish part of the archipelago too is, is very beautiful. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, Neil picked up charts for the whole region. He's going to be bringing other visitors back the whole summer. So, yeah. Very cool. So, Thank you for doing that. Yeah, yeah. But thanks for having us here. It's You're great. always welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Uh -huh. You just turn here, get up, and get up to Sotuna. Okay. So and, and this trip from here to there is two, two and a half miles. Right, you know, right. So you want to take the scenic route, as we say. Exactly. Okay. If you want to do the scenic route, you, I, I wouldn't go. Engsholm is really beautiful. Okay. But as you see, it's 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 so tricky. tricky. <laughs> it's tricky waters. So I would instead, you know, just enjoy this okay. route here. Okay. And if you just feel for it, just go okay. up there to Bena or continue this. 
this route. The scenic route. Yeah, the scenic route here, right. a bit of Finn, uh, Masha, you get up to Selsa and then suddenly it just opens up. And when it's open up, you turn. Okay. There's this little, you know, in between here. Mm -hmm. What is it? One and a half miles or something right, like that. Right, right. That's quite open, but that's nothing with this kind of boat. No. But so Bena is fantastic and that's a natural harbor, so you don't have anything there. Okay. Which is really beautiful getting up also here on the because there's a it's one of the higher cliffs on mm -hmm. the Oman Islands and, and so nice views up there. Exactly. So so you just turn up from from uh, up there. Mm -hmm. And it was I mean after the war this was really a poor area right. of the world up until nineteen sixties. But she started to write a book, a series of five books. In a fictional world, but, world, but it, it was about this place. Mm -hmm. A woman called Maya came to this island. She, you know, the, the, the coming husband. He was, you know, glowing. Everything in her face, you know, it's beautiful. Most, you know, it's it's the it's the heaven on earth. And she, he, he didn't tell her how, how hard it was and harsh. Was. All right. <laughs> so the book is about the, the life of the uh, of the people of the archipelago. Okay. And, you know, some of her kids die and. At the end, her husband dies at the water, you know, walking on the ice and mm -hmm. going through it. And, yeah. Right. So it's, uh, but up there, and it's this place, they, they actually have harbor there where you could, uh, and sometimes they got a cafe. This is the called Simchela that I showed you. Mm -hmm. And then we're going more or less due north. Okay. There. So when you come to it's this something called Vedarskär. Okay. And when you see that island from the sea, you just look at it, it's just bare. Mm -hmm. It's red granite, and you start to think, could it be anything here? You just moor up into this little uh, okay. uh, there, mm -hmm. and get up on the hill, and then suddenly there's a luscious green, you know, small, a fantastic place. Okay. So, Vedarskär. All right, beautiful. Thank and you, I, you could mark it also. Okay. Yeah, you could mark it on the big one. So I could I could show you the on the big uh, on the big so if you press the stroke there up there is a bear. Right, right, right. Okay, yeah. gorgeous. Okay. And then you got the bear and uh, you got and there. She's there. She's right, there. Right. Exactly. Okay. And this is the little route that you go and then back to stop to right. right. So you could just this is it's 10, nice. 10, 12 odd miles. You know, this is very nice. From there to there to Lamont's Group. Uh, Lamont's yeah, good route, that's, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Awesome. That's this is fantastic. And this is this part of the Orland Islands. After this, if you go north, the next thing you meet is Haparanda, mm -hmm. and that's up in the Lapland. Okay. So you know, with the, so when the northern winds comes in the in the winter, yeah, there's no protection. Yeah. Up there. You don't want to be there. Let's put it that right, way. Right, 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 right. And can, can you tell us your your name and your occupation? Hi there, my name is Christian Jusleen. I come from the Orland Islands, Mariham, and uh, my occupation, I'm an opera singer. A what? An opera singer? He is indeed. <laughs> I'm an opera singer. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't yeah. that fantastic? Thanks so much for giving us tips on these local, you know, oh, these secret really spots. Man. Thank you for having me, man, yeah. and, and I'm happy that you uh, are making this possible also for yeah. the viewers around the world, and especially to find this little jewel in the middle yeah, of the Yeah, your, your home is so beautiful. We're excited to explore it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, maybe we'll see you next time. Uh, I mean, yeah, Neil I, will be back around. I'll be well, back. We'll be I'll in Maryheim too. Um, yeah, 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 you're, yeah. Are you staying in Maryheim currently? I'm staying in Maryheim now. I'm, I'm, it's the first time since 2006 that I have the possibility to spend the spring and the summer back home, nice. my home island. So I'm just enjoying every minute of it. And of course, getting out to Redham just to chill out and meet you fabulous That's people. Right. That's right. wonderful. People you meet, that's 50% yeah. of the pleasure at the very least. It is, yeah. and I, I was actually, I was, I told James I was in, I was in Tulsa last year singing, but next year I'm going to Vancouver mm -hmm. to sing. I got a couple of performances there, and uh, so I'm really excited about that place because I told James I want to see, I want to see live wild orcas, and I've, oh, what wow. I've understood outside the island of Vancouver, you could meet them, and they got some, some kind of safari, so yeah. I'm really, I mean, my, my profession takes me all over the world, mm -hmm. and I'm happy. I get paid to travel to places people pay for to travel. That's no nice. doubt, no doubt. That's but nice. the, the, the backside of that is that I'm not a lot of home. Yeah. So there, that's the There's plenty of time to be home when you're old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already old, man. <laughs> Thank you. 
Chile Motor Sail. We're heading to, what's the name of the island we're heading to? Bodo. Bodo. Sounds like something in Lord of the Rings. Um, yeah, it's pretty chilly out today. I haven't got to do any sailing. We've just been motoring. But uh, yesterday we got to sail all day, so you kind of split the difference, I guess. Navigating these islands and shallow waters, man. It's a constant battle. Quite a challenge. <laughs> they are everywhere. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's really tricky, James, because if you sail as high as you can, you really run a risk of getting backwinded. If you get backwinded, you suddenly get yeah, turned, you're, and you're then you're on a lee shore, a hundred meters away from some, maybe less from some very nasty stuff. So it's a bit of a. You really have to keep your wits about you, and if you start to get backwinded, you throw the tiller over, fill yeah. it, so you don't fucking mess around. Makes sense. The main, the main sheet? Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe to my channel and give us a thumbs up. It helps others find out about the videos. Also, don't forget to check out the episode on A Stern View Podcast, where me and Neil sit down and talk about the harbor of Radham.